Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with episode three of season two. We've got some really heavy hitters in this episode, and the first fight starting off is Ronk the Massive versus Groot Brain Damage. All right, so first off, we got Ronk. Ronk is an absolute beast who has been practicing in the pit fight since he was 12. He is an absolute monster, and he's going to do incredibly well in the fight pits. And his backstory is clearly unknown, but people do do theorize that he was taught a little bit by Ogbor Blood Drinker in the ways of the assassin. But he is incredibly powerful, and he's going to do a lot of damage. And speaking of damage, let's move on to the brain damage. Now, this guy is, his backstory is very unknown. People do think that, people theorize what happened is that he lost a pit fight to somebody and they tried to cut off his head, but they smashed it multiple times and he became brain damaged from it. The rest of the story is unknown on his part, but all he does, he doesn't even remember it because he's brain damaged, but yeah, he's wild. But let's start the fight. So I uh, kill you now, do I? All right, here they go. They're both taunting each other immediately. And Grook lands the first hit, and then the Karagor comes in. Now he's enraged. Ooh, he could get some big hits in. Oh, but the Karagors don't like him. The Karagors don't like him. All right, so they're both standing there. All right, Grook landing another hit, but it's ineffective and weak. Oh, now Grook's enraged. This is his opportunity to do some damage. And Ronk pulls it off. That was nice. It was a good it was a good introduction to the episode. Alright, now the next fight is Ushok the Grinder versus Hoglik the Brander. Ushok the Grinder was one of the best warriors in the pit fights until he lost to Ogbor Blood Drinker himself. He cut off part of his jawline and it was broken for many weeks, so he wore the metal jaw. And he's been wearing it for the rest of his life in shame, but now he's come here to prove that he is he will not accept shame and he will fight to prove his worth. And then there's Hoglick. Hoglick has been the owner of slaves for many years. He's branded slaves and he didn't know how good he was in pits until he actually started fighting. And he was incredible. He still branded every every single slave that he came across but there was a change he branded every single captain he killed in the pits to prove that he killed him but i can't wait to see this this is going to be a really close fight my pipe's worse than my bark i'll bite your head off you must be eager to die all right, here they go. And Hoglick immediately going for the Olog and hit the Karagor on accident from behind. That was nice. Oh, but he lit himself on fire. And that Olog and Karagor are just running everywhere in flames. And so is Ukshok. Ukshok's now enraged. I mean, in flames. All right, so he's just... Ooh, Ukshok with the first hit on the captain. And another hit on Hoglick. And then, boom. A slam that was nice that was nice that was nice all right who's gonna make the next move who's gonna land the slam and it's Ushok again Ushok is unrelenting he does not want to lose this battle and he wins there we go that was domination I thought it would be pretty close but it was domination all right next up is Poosh Crimp ugly face versus or Adin the judge so first we have Poosh Crimp Poosh Crimp is an incredibly skilled fighter. He trained completely on his own. He did not have any help with his training. He only trained with his brother, and that was against him. His brother Borgu Ugly Face. So he trained with his brother the entire time and built his way to the top. He's an outstanding fighter, and he is ready to destroy anybody who faces him. And then we have Oradin the Judge. Oradin clearly used to be a judge and he was pretty successful at it 
until he finally sentenced somebody to guilty, which was three weeks after he became a judge, and he started getting into the pit fighting aspect and the executing aspect. So he was really good at pit fighting from there, but he wanted to remind people that he used to be a judge for the rest uh, for, and yeah, that's how he got into pit fighting, was the judge. But yeah, I'm gonna, I can't wait to see this fight. This is gonna be really close. All right, here they go. Who's gonna land the first hit? And it's the judge going for the punch immediately. Ooh, and you can see the blood trail that it led. Ooh, and Push Crimp with the second hit. That was nice. Now they're kind of even in health. All right, who's gonna land the third? And the Olog's starting to interfere with the fight a little bit, and Push Crimp lands the second hit. All right, all right. The Olog's really don't like him and don't want his master to fight. They want to fight. They want to get in the fight. The judges companions are getting involved while he throws down the bomb and okay push crimp lands the rampage that that's going to do a lot of damage that's going to do a lot and as you can see it did all right he's about to step in the trap and boom another hit with po for push crimp push crimp it looks like push crimp's dominating and throws down a bomb oh here comes the judge here comes the judge and the ologs do the hit instead of the judge and then the Olog accidentally hit the judge, and that gave him an opportunity to throw down the bomb. The judge is not landing a single hit. The Ologs are interfering with the entire fight. Oh, here comes the judge throwing down another bomb. And now he's on his way getting inside the fight, but the Ologs keep interfering. And then the, another bomb went off as they stepped in the trap. And the, the Ologs, they just want the fight to be theirs. They're not letting their master interfere in any way. Oh, uh, but the rapid, the rabbit finally came involved, and then the rampage. It didn't kill the other Olog, but it certainly did damage to it. And this, it seems like it's game over at this point. The judge is at very low health. Like, he'll be, oh, but that doesn't mean he can't finish the fight. And now he's enraged, and he lands the next hit. Who's going to land the last hit? Who's going to land it? And it's the judge. The judge is victorious. That was a very nice comeback. Alright, finally we have Stakuga Lord of Maggots versus Goon the Angry. Stakuga has had a very rough journey to get into the pit. So first, he was presumed dead at the Battle of Saragost, but Maggots came into his body and resurrected him, keeping him alive. He came back with all the swellings and maggot holes that were all through his head and chest, and he survived they were impressed with his survival skills, so they set him in the pit. He had a very rough time, but he finally got in his game when he when he when he just kicked ass. And then there's Goon. Listen, there's a reason why everybody fears this defender. This guy is the angriest person in Mordor. He he once killed five men for bumping into him. <laughs> so he is furious all the time and he is a monster he he well he's a very respected fighter and he's very skilled and sometimes he can be, be very nice but if you make him angry there's no going back all right let's start this fight finally if you're eager to die i'll apply to become a beautiful corpse. All right, here they go. Here they go. Landing the first hit. Oh, and Goond is already enraged. <laughs> what? Oh my God, the damage! Oh my God! <laughs> Goond is a monster. Yeah, the feral claws did absolutely nothing, buddy. Oh my god, Goond, <laughs> that was one hit, and Stakuga's almost dead. Oh my god, he is showing no mercy as <laughs> he's beating him on the floor and chops him in half with the shield. Goond is here to fight. Alright, we're moving on to the semifinals, and that's got Ronk the Massive versus Ushok the Grinder. 
Ronk gave us a nice introduction to the episode where he destroyed Grook's brain damage. And uh, he um, he's going to be using a lot of his abilities. He's going to be charging. He's going to be using Rampage, Rabbit. He's going to use a lot of his abilities. And I am looking, I'm looking forward to see how Ronk... If Ronk doesn't do that, then what other tactics he might use. And then we have Ushak. Ushak is an amazing fighter. As you can see from the fight that he had, he does like doing uh, the slams a lot. And he does like to kind of let his gang do his own little thing. And then he likes to, you know, pick off his enemy. And that's what he's probably going to do. And I, I'll be interested uh, if, if Ushak does a much more aggressive uh, battle tactic. But here we go. The first semi-final fight, Ronk the Master versus Ushok the Grinder. Okay, here they go, here they go, here they go. And he's immediately pulling Ushok off of the Karagor. That was nice, that was pretty nice. And Ushok landing the triple strike and the Olog interfering. Nice hit, nice hit, nice dodge. All right, here they go. They're just sitting there. They're just sitting there. And the Olog's starting to interfere. All right. He's still interfering again. And he almost threw the axes. He almost did the terror chains. What's he going to do now? And he landed the charge. That was... He needed to do that if he wanted to get away from that Olog. All right, now what's he going to... He did the rabbit. That was smart. That was smart. And the throwing axes. Oh, that's going to do some damage as the thing gets detected. Oh, and the slaughter cleavers. It's a really close fight here. Really close. Triple strike. Rampage. It's anybody's game. It's anybody's game. Who's it going to be? It's Ronk. It's Ronk. Let's go. That was an amazing fight. That, that was really close. Holy moly. All right, we're moving on to the last semi-final fight of the episode, and that is Goond the Angry versus Ur Adin the Judge. Goond lives up to his title. He is always angry. The second he got damaged the last fight, he just destroyed him and then cut him in half with the shield. So I feel like if Ur Adin's going to, if Ur Adin's going to damage, if he's going to win, he's got to find a way to uh not trigger the uh enraged by injury that goon has and now we've got the judge the judge he has a uh a, a very he has a very uh well i wouldn't say challenging time in the pits he has a difficult time because of all the ologs around him but he's been uh he hasn't had the best uh performance yet and if he's going to win once again if he's going to win he needs to avoid uh, trying to get goons enraged by injury off. But here we go. Practice time is over. Time for a real fight. You'll approve I have to kill next. Bye. Okay, here we go. And uh, an immediate punch by Aura Dean. That was that was nice. That was pretty nice. That was pretty nice. And is he going for it again? He's going for another punch. He's doing a good job of not uh, making uh, Goon get enraged. He's got to do it again though if he wants. Oh, uh, but here come the Ologs. And there's the bomb. There's the bomb. There's the bomb. Oh, that's gonna enrage him. That made him angry. That made him angry. You shouldn't have done that, Aura Dean. At oh wait, never mind. Never mind. He can maybe ch he can change this outcome. He can change the outcome with the punches. He's got an opportunity to win. Let's see if he does it. Let's see if he does it. And he's got him d less than half. He's got him less than half. He just has to he just has to defeat him. He just needs to make sure he loses this fight. But can he? Oh no, he's worried on. He's focused on the defenders. When Goon gets enraged, this is his opportunity to win because he's not focused on Goon. Like. Why isn't he focusing on Goon? Why is he focusing on... The oh, but now his attention has turned. Now his attention is on Goon. Oh, never mind. Oh, now he's enraged. This is where it begins. Ah, oh, dude. And there's the bomb. There's the bomb. Or a Dean. No, don't focus on the defenders, buddy. Ah, oh, yeah. Goon's got this. If he just needs to... He just needs to keep up the enraged without making his bombs go off. And there we go. 
Gund will be facing Ronk the Massive in the finals. Here we go, the finals for this episode, Ronk the Massive versus Gund the Angry. Now Ronk is a little bit of an underdog since he's fighting Gund the Angry, who is an incredible fighter, but uh, that does not mean that Ronk is a bad fighter. Ronk is an amazing fighter. From that last fight, you can really see him using pretty much all of his abilities. And he, yeah, he's going to put up, he's gonna put it, uh, he's going to give it his all. And let, <laughs> odds are he might win this. And then we've got the angry one. Goon, he's a, uh, he had some trouble that last fight, but when his rage got off, he really did a lot of damage. So if Ronk, if Ronk wants to play it smart, he'd do all of his abilities without triggering the rage. But Goon, if Goon gets enraged, it's probably going to be game over. But let's see who moves to the finale. All right, these titans now clash. Let's see what happens. And the triple strike on the men immediately. Oh, but those those terror chains. That's going to do a lot of damage. And his attention is now focused on the defenders. And ooh, he did his rabbit. And he almost pulled off the charge. But the rage is really getting to the best of Ronk. Oh, this could be bad. This is bad. This is bad. And Ronk is eliminated. Goon moves on to the final. Man, that was a really quick fight. I feel bad for Runk, but uh, yeah, Goon the Angry moves on to the finale in episode nine. So we'll be seeing him again. And it was very fun to see this guy in action. This guy was amazing, amazing to watch. It was just the best. So I'll see you guys in episode four.